up guys this is Aaron from the Omnia Gamers and today we are playing Mark the Darkness Yu-Gi-Oh! Power of Chaos Mark the Darkness you know from season 2 season 3 don't think he's in season 4 he's definitely not in season 1 that's Jaws Kingdom where the only way they solve their problems is by getting star chips but anyway um yeah, the cards are slightly different in here um I imported my deck from what was it Legends Reborn? Where you see, I got eventually got the God cards, but I'm here on my side deck along with the Exodia pieces, and I have two obelisks. And these um, God cards can be quite a pain sometimes. Um, I don't know. I think I read some there was a glitch where you try to put Wing Dragon and Ra down, the game crashes. But there are a few cards that are different, so just quickly go for them. Um, you've all seen my cards before, you've seen my previous videos. So, yeah. I'm just quickly going through them so you can see my deck. Quite a nice deck. Being a little bit vain about my deck. Sounds like I'm saying something else. Uh, kind of exactly the same as deck, but a little bit more inappropriate, especially when we're playing a children's card game. I'm off this room. We don't have Copycat anymore. You have Phantom of Chaos. I remember this used to be a limited edition card. I don't remember what from. I remember getting this though. It's a limited edition card and there's a lot of text there but not much here. It has exactly the same effect as Copycat. <laughs> this guy's new. Oh wait, no, I think I had him. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I had him. Lala. Jinzo the Returner. A lot better than Jinzo number 7. My usuals. Um, who the hell is this guy? Card from your graveyard. Return it. Oh, that's um, Mask of Darkness. Has the same effect as Mask of Darkness. Okay. Okay. There's Toon Gemini Elf, Goblin Attack Force, which looks Goblin Elite Attack Force. So much more sick compared to Goblin Attack Force. That's zero defense. Jinzo, most favorite card of all time. You can only have one in your deck, unfortunately. That's a sick card. Sorcerer of Dark Magic, Obelisk Tormentor. You always trust the Millennium Shield. Well, no one of my favorite cards, Giant Soldier of Stone. And uh, Amphibian Beast. See, I've got um, these cards in here because they have high attack with only six and five stars. That's, that's weird, that one's five stars. Falls in the same category as Giant Soldier of Stone, that really should be four, I think. This one should be six, maybe even seven. But anyway, let's get to doing a duel. It's a really nice music. Custom made game, really. Well made game, it's uh, very similar though to um, Legends Reborn. I think the only major difference you'll see in this is the opponent. as you can tell is quite quiet. <sighs> Don't mind me. I will go first. He says damn you a lot by the way, so you, if you have some problem with that, stop watching the video. Can't see why you would have a problem with that, but you know, everyone has different views. So when I play Port of Greed in a minute, he'll go, damn you! That sounds a, a bit more like Bakura actually than Marek. See, there you go. Oh, Barrel Dragon. Nice. Okay, um, I think we'll set up here. Not one of his phrases. You only push Bonini inevitable. Of course, very different to that. Uh, okay, yeah. Magic Cylinder. Worthless. I don't know how little Karibo voices Marek and Bakura so well. You know, I've been watching a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge lately. I used to watch it loads when I was younger. I'm surprised how long he's been keeping it going for, actually. Yeah, you know, it's really good. And he does all the voices himself. It's just one guy. So many episodes, he has help. But he does something to voices, and to be able to do his voices, you know, just like that, he's incredible. You know, I wish I could do that. I'm going to lose in this duel. <laughs> I'll try not to lose for you guys, the viewers, so you can see a bit more of Mark drawing. Not 
drooling. You're merely postponing the inevitable. I'm also equipped this cool. I need to use that. Hopefully I'll do a sacrifice and I equip that monster with this. Come on, sacrifice. Ah, oh, you mofo. Designate the monster you wish to equip. That happy little fella. Hmm. What I may have to do is use change of heart and take control of one of them to destroy those two. Cause I, this is okay. Here goes to be helpful. Okay, so oh, I don't want to use magic jammer. My own card. No, thank you. I don't want to do that. I want to be smart with it. He is very quiet. Whoa, no. Okay, what is this effect? One car may just come from the Okay, shizzle my nizzle to the freaking nizzle. What am I gonna do? This is not easy. Okay, um. Oh, what can I do? This is tough. I'm trying to think of a really good strategy I could do here. I mean, I could use um, this equip card to equip with one of these to destroy this card. Because this card is going to screw me over in the long run no matter what. But then that card's going to be OP. I need a monster on the field which I can use collective power with. So I can transfer that card onto that monster. And I've got a few more turns so I've got to hope for the best. Uh, at least just get a monster which I can transfer that effect on onto. onto. Got my words mixed up a bit there. I don't have to magic jam with this, I can't let him have as many monsters as that. <coughs> oh, you know what? I really should put um, this one in the graveyard. I'm so stupid. I would have got to give me a few more life points. That would be real nice. Scapegoat! Oh, you have no idea how happy I am to see you. So much dams. <laughs> Stop damning me. Okay, I think we're on our way now. We need to get rid of this guy though. I mean, if I lose any of the cards, it's not going to be good. So, I know. Ugh. It's three more turns. And it's it. This is his last turn where he's going to be stopped by the sword to revealing light. I think, anyway. He's got a whole line of defense. I got a whole bunch of sheep. Come on. Oh, yes. Phantom of Chaos. Okay, we need to think how we're going to do this now. Uh. Okay. Right. We'll just completely forget about the part about using change of heart for now. We need to get rid of this guy. <laughs> There's a main monster you wish to equip. Here we go. Sorry about the bad start, guys, but I'm back. Okay, here's a trap card. Oh man. Still destroyed this card, which is good. Is that worth it? Mm. No, I'm gonna leave that for now. So we still change a part next turn and get that mask to kill the other to go up over there. Okay, this is not good. Oh god, my life is going to get hit. I start with a really bad hand here. Time machine. Ok, 
Okay, what I could do, I feel stupid, I could control one of them and use it as a sacrifice to get this on the field. Let's do this. Let's get, well, what's his effect? Okay, I will get this guy. <laughs> Let's place these down, these will come in handy. Let's destroy that goddamn mask thing. It's not even a mask, poor face beast. It looks like a freaking mask there. So I will call it a mask. You got a problem? I don't care. I know you guys can't see me, but I just did the Nicolas Cage. You don't Take say it, face. Why did he put that in attack mode? I don't know, he wants me to attack that and start trapped there. Toon Gemini Elf, I can't even put too well down. He's sticking his tongue out like um, Marek did in uh, Season 3, which got censored in the 4 kids dub. <laughs> Is that a reference to anything? Or is that just coincidence? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, this is good. Okay, no, I'm being affected by this. Because this monster is a fiend as well. Oh, that's good. That is mighty fine. If I may say so. I need to get um, Regeki though or something. Come on, Regek. That is not Regek. I don't want to use this. Now, that'll be tragic. Because this is my only chance I have right now of winning. Let's keep him on the field for now. Legendary Fiend. He's proving to be quite helpful. Because any monsters that aren't fiends will fill the wrath of my fiend. But damn it. Not a mystic potato. Uh, monster reborn. I would prefer a mighty strong monsters. Uh, what about him though? Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Let's do this. There you are, mofo. Prepare to feel the wrath of this thing. What's that? Oh man. But he has to pay life points though. His life points gonna go straight down. With the assistance of me as well. Attack the Marek Tomato. What monster is he bringing onto the field? Exodia! That's not possible! Oh, that's not Exodia, that's another Marek Tomato. Sorry, I was mistaken there. There goes his life arms. Yeah, this is um, one to Oh, god, that's scary. What does he that do? Oh, really? Well, I lost. <laughs> There's damage influence for each spell and track card. Oh, that's, that's a dirt card. I expected more from you. How disappointing. Pitiful. Yeah, anyways, uh, uh, I'll leave that for a different video. I was gonna tell this, I was gonna do this thing just to have something to talk about. While I was drawing, which is um, this one time when I was on the bus and I kept doing this impersonation of Seto Kaiba, and every few seconds I'd be like, Go, Blue Eyes White Dragon! So, yeah, that's kind of boring. So, anyway, guys, um, yeah, it is a good game. I totally recommend getting it, it's completely free. Um, you can get a link to the site where you can download it in the description. And I know my commentary hasn't been too good on this, but I'm not feeling 100% uh, today. I've pretty much just made this video to give people an idea of what the game's like. So I'll see you guys soon. I hope you've enjoyed. It's been Aaron from the Omni Gamers. I'll see you in the next video. some Pepsi before I actually start the video.
Even though it's already recording Yeah Not gonna include this part in the video